Okay, another way we can start is with an image. I've got Photoshop open here. I'm going to do a file open. I'm going to an image that I've found on the internet of an egg. It's not too bad. I'm going to use a crop tool and uh, down here. You can just roughly put a bounding box around it and then adjust it. I'm going to take it in so it's just touching the edges of this image. Now all images are distorted by cameras just by the very nature of the lens and the process it's gone through. So we're just getting an approximation here. I'm going to crop it and then I'm going to go image size and the height I'm after is 58 millimeters um, and it gives me 43 millimeters wide. save that back. So I'm going to save it back as a JPEG and uh, I've named it 58 by 43, 43, 44, something like that. Um, I'll save it back as a JPEG and then at this point we're going to open uh, Rhino. So in here in Rhino I've drawn the sizes. Again I want to confirm that whatever I'm going to put in here is going to work. Uh, and I go to view background bitmap place. So view background bitmap place uh, and then you pick the image you want to use. So in this case we're going to pick the one we named. Hopefully it's the same proportions. So that image there. And uh, we're going to use this to do a little drawing. So uh, we'll switch on control point curves. Same as before. Good snaps on. Up a bit so we can make sure we can access all the tools. And so good snaps on. So um, we'll go in here and go one, two, three, and then just pick up one or two down here, and then down here one, two, three. So at this point, we want to switch on the curve and the points, and we'll grab these as such, sliding them in and out. Because this is a delicate maneuver, you can switch good snap off at this point and we'll try and see if we can match the various curves that make up this egg. Now I've, I've deliberately kept it as quite a low resolution image in order that we can um, just run the approx approximate curvature. You can import a high resolution image if you want or something more accurate. But in this case is all of our looking like an egg and being the correct overall proportions and dimensions so it's uh, an approximation and I think at this point it might be worthwhile and um, going to view the background bitmap and hiding it and let's see if we can uh, revolve this so surface revolve curve, good snap on, and again if it doesn't revolve properly check up the top that the 360's uh, pressed, and uh, let's see where's my perspective window, here it's here, and um, we can uh, shade that up and have a look at it, so again the normal adjustments apply, so that's how I'm um, using the, the front window here. flatten this out down the bottom here. I think if I was going to do it again, I'd just do that probably. Just to make a minor adjustment. Maybe I should do that now. Uh, surface, evolve, curve, good snaps on. And uh, yeah, if you can't get Enter to work by right mouse clicking, uh, do use the key. It's probably a more accurate thing to do. Now this time the, the, the curve's not going around at 360 automatically. So go up here and press full circle if, if it's not working for you. Uh, and then um, back into perspective view and you could you could perhaps render it and have a look. And that's looking pretty good. So um, that's the that's the other way to, to create the shape that's the right size.